Well, hello, this is Kelly and I am the Mathematic Plumber and welcome to video six of the gas control series. Today, we're gonna talk about how a solenoid gas valve works. So this is our solenoid gas valve and our gas valve is shut off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it on. So we're opening up that gas valve. Gas is gonna flow into the chamber. And look at that, we're all pressurized up, but nothing is happening right now. We need to light up the pilot light. Let's do that. I push down the pilot light reset plunger and gas flows into the system and it's gonna go down through this little tubing that goes all the way up to the pilot assembly. And then we're gonna have to light that up. So why don't we go ahead and light that up? We're gonna go and spark it up. There we go. So we are continuing to hold down this reset button while our thermocouple heats up. That's what's happening right now. And eventually we're gonna get electricity, just a little bit, but electricity flowing down through here to my power unit, which is a little electromagnet. That's gonna hold this plunger in place when we release this button here. So we release the button and this stays in the open position. That means we are good to go. Now we are all powered down here though. So we're gonna to need to power up the system. So I flip the electrical switch, which powers up my 24 volt transformer. And I have power coming through this device here, which is actually my high temperature limit that's within my furnace. And then I have my thermostat here, which is not quite calling for heat yet but my house is gonna cool down and I'm gonna get a call for heat. Ooh, there we go. So my switch closes, I get power to this. This is my solenoid portion of the gas valve. Now a solenoid just creates a small electromagnet which pulls a piece of metal down. And in this case, it's the actual solenoid valve that opened up to allow gas flow from the main chamber down through to the main burner. Now this green portion that's going up and down here, first of all, this is massively exaggerated. This is not what it looks like, but this is a gas regulator. It's taking about seven inches of water column that's right here from my piping system, and it's converting it down to 3.5 inches of water column through here to the burner. In other words, the burner would be burning very funny right now with way too much pressure. Okay. So now we are going to satisfy our call for heat. So the thermostat in the house has been warmed up and it's gonna shut off. So the thermostat opens up and we go into standby position. So our pilot light is still burning, but our main burner is off. That is the operation of a solenoid gas valve. And that brings us to the end of this video, but stay tuned for the final video where we discuss the diaphragm gas valve and how it works. Until then, you have yourself a great day.